my name is Amy Ecker. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm using the Too Faced Sweet Peaches and Cream Palette. I don't think I just got that right. I probably didn't. And I used Makeup Geek. So I wanted to see how these um, duped. Was Makeup Geek able to compare to the Sweet Peaches and Cream Palette? So if you want to see which one might be on which side, Stay this tuned. Color here is Vanilla Bean by Makeup Geek. Now we're going to use some Bake Sale. I'm going to pick up some Poppy. Taking Mango Tango. We're going to pick up Americano. Grab some cherry cola. Now we're gonna switch to the peach we're gonna palette. Start out on this side with the peach butter. Ooh, that's got some fallout. That looks messy, and that's the first time I've used it. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go kind of opposite in a way. We're gonna pull up some just peachy. And then pick up the Peach Punch. These have a lot more fallout than Makeup Geek does. I did forget, hello, my transition color, which will be Peach Tea. Then we're gonna pick up some Just Ripe. We're gonna pick up some Chocolate Dipped. And now, we're gonna go in with some Just Ripe. A little bit more of the peach tea to go around the edges. And it looks like I lost my white color there. So I'm gonna pick back up some peach butter. Okay, so what do you guys think so far? Now let's do the eyeliner and mascara and see what we got. I think I'm gonna use this alkaline color from Urban Decay. It's a 24-7 glide-on eye pencil. And then to perk up the inner waterline, I'm gonna use some of the Marc Jacobs in Pink of Me. Using the water-resistant scuba from The Balm. And now we're going to use some Marc Jacobs. Okay, now that I'm finished, I'm going to go and blow dry this hair since I didn't do it last night before I went to bed. And I'll come back with some of my thoughts because you know I Okay, have so them. what's my overall thoughts on these peaches and cream palette? So basically, um, the Just Peachy palette, absolutely loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Why do I love it? Because it's matte. I have more shimmers than I will ever use in about 10 lifetimes. And as I, I don't know, shimmers just aren't my jam for the most part. They're, I just, I don't know. I really love mattes. Mattes you can wear day, you can wear night shimmers it just doesn't feel that way and i really love all matte palettes i actually wish that uh, Too faced would do more all matte palettes off of some of their other ones in fact i keep leaving them little messages on their youtube board you know like hey this would be a good matte palette but so far they haven't listened to me i don't know why but anyways i really did enjoy using this palette the one thing that um, on the downside for me was that the first time I used this palette, it looks like this palette has been around for a long time. It's got fallout everywhere. So, I mean, I do, one, one of the upsides is it's got an absolute ton of pigment. Um, the other downside of it, just remember that it does have some fallout. So if you haven't used this palette yet, you don't have to dig in, you just kinda, have to lightly touch it and you've got 
lovely pigment on your eyes. It's not as bad as, hmm, the Anastasia palette, not even close, but it does have a lot of fallout, so just know that. Absolutely love the smell. It is lovely as you put it on. I actually have most um, of the Too Faced products on today, and so I've got multiple layers of those products, and I don't feel overwhelmed with the scent, and I've got a really powerful nose, so I was at first concerned about layering all those peach smells on my face. How would that feel? How would that smell? Would it give me a headache? It doesn't. It's almost like they're so light that um, it, it just doesn't overpower you is I guess what I'm trying to say. Now, as far as the Peach Blur Palette, did it do anything absolutely earth shattering amazing to make me feel like all my pores have gone away no so really the peach blur palette to me is more i don't want to say gimmicky but you know it's part of of the two face products i just didn't find it over the top oh my god i'm gonna be repurchasing this forever and ever amen it, it, it's not gonna happen. I do like it as part of this collection, but it just didn't overwhelm me where I feel like I've gotta have it over and over again. Now, the Just Peachy Mattes palette, I would definitely repurchase that. I would definitely recommend it. And then um, the Too Faced highlighter, the Peach Frost, I mean, it's pretty, very pretty but you can find something a lot less expensive that either has more glow, same glow, or less glow. So it wasn't, you know, again, it wasn't that exciting. I don't, I wouldn't purchase that again. Same thing with the bronze peach, the toasted peach. This, I don't know, it said it's a melting powder bronzer. To me, it just felt muddy. It I, I just maybe it's because I'm not accustomed to really using creamy products and I'll, I'll blame it on my lack of using creamy products they're not my favorite so maybe that's why I just didn't get over the over the moon excited so those two products for me again I wouldn't purchase them um, in fact if I had watched other tutorials before I did this and found out if anyone else was having that same problem, I wouldn't have purchased them. But I tried to wait till I got it myself so I could have my own opinion, then I'll go back and watch everyone else's. Then we have the Sweetie Pie Bronzer. That's really pretty. Um, it's, I, I liked this bronzer much better than that cream one. So out of the two, I would say I would repurchase this one. Now you do see a lot of pinks in there and a little bit of a peach color. And so when you, you know, at first glance you think, oh my God, I'm gonna get some peachy pink swipe across my face. That did not happen. Um, I think it's a really light color. I'm not sure that this would go with any, on any dark skinned ladies or gentlemen really well. Um, it just is very light and I've got super white skin. So again, um, I don't know. I, I'm really curious for anyone that has um, mid-tone skin colors or darker skin tone colors and you use this, let me know how this performed for you. Did you like it? Would you buy it again? Um, again, I mean, it's okay, but it's not like I've got to repurchase that again. So now let's talk about the lipsticks. Um, these lipsticks, I bought four colors and then I went back online and purchased a few more before I tried them, which I don't know that that was exactly smart, but when I looked at them, they, they had something that reminded me of MAC lipsticks. And so A, I like MAC and B, I love this packaging and the fact that they looked like MAC and the packaging was stunning this I was like oh I want to try all of them and I'm really glad actually that I went ahead and purchased some more last night these are remind me of the MAC cream sheen kind of lips they go on really creamy and smooth they're really pretty and I love the colors. So that's why I went back and got more before I even tried it because I was like, ooh, I love these colors. I need all of them. 
Um, unfortunately, I didn't get all of them because some of them are sold out because some of you got to them before I did. But I really do like those lipsticks, so I am very pleased that I went ahead and purchased the additional colors because, I, again, I like the colors. I like how they feel. Um, they're just really nice. And with winter coming up, I tend to enjoy the cream lips more so than the um, lippies that dry down matte. Um, it's just my preference now that we're going to get into some of the cooler weather. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this feedback tutorial craziness. Um, I always enjoy putting these together for y'all just to see what do you say? What do you say? Uh, thank you so much for watching today when I used my dupes between the new Too Faced Peaches and Cream palette and the Makeup Geek palette. Were you able to tell the difference? Can you tell the difference? Anyways, I really appreciate you joining this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave those in the section below. I do want to thank everyone that watches my videos. It means a lot to me. And I just wish you the most amazing day. So you have a choice, make it a great one. Until next time.